On June 16, 2018, I finally decided to launch my show. I've always wanted to inspire the world, face challenges, and share my personal testimony and my life story with the world. Join me each and every weekday, Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. Because this is a show based on faith and how each and every day we battle storms. My name is Angel, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hello, everyone, and this is Have Faith, Let It Begin. My name is Angel. We hope that you're having a great week, and we'd like to get started right away. Folks, one of the things in life that we're going to encounter is our struggles. And when I think of the, of the phrase, it's never too late. I think of how many times I have myself have been backed up into a corner. I myself have felt as if life has quickly passed me by. And how life can change in the blink of an eye. It's never too late. It's never too late to fulfill your destiny. It's never too late to fulfill your dreams. It's never too late to move forward. You know, on this show, we've dealt with so many different topics so far. We've dealt with breakups. We've dealt with taking control, believing in yourself, wake up, the call, and it goes on and on and on. But the one thing that we continue to speak about on this show is our faith is our ability to not allow anyone to steal our joy. This past week, I've had an opportunity to get some letters from people that are dealing with life-changing situations, dealing with struggles in their marriages, dealing with their struggles for their future that lies ahead, the unknown. The unknown scares all of us, but it's having faith and believing in yourself that allow that path, that road to become very clear. We're going to all encounter things that happen to us that we cannot explain. Losing a loved one, losing a person that you thought you'd spend the rest of your life with, having your heart broken. Moving on to a new job, a new environment, a new state, a new home is hard for some people to grasp. It's not easy to go through change, but you have to find the positive in anything you do, even if you're struggling along the way, even if the negativity continues to creep up and steal your joy. I once spoke with an individual who's battling to save her marriage. She has faith. He has faith. But slowly, they're beginning to lose faith in each other. There are individuals out there that are battling diseases diseases that have returned this past week last week a professional wrestler announced that he had been battling leukemia for over 11 years and then has returned a lot of you have read the news and seen that it's professional wrestler Roman Reigns as a fan knowing that it is sports entertainment. I was not a fan of the character Roman Reigns. But in that moment, it became real. In that moment, the fantasy world of sports entertainment, of wrestling, became reality. Watching this individual stand up and having the courage to announce that he is no longer able to do what he's 
always wanted to do, to go out and battle leukemia, made me respect this individual so much more. Was able to look at him in a different light. And it was such an honor and a privilege and a blessing to hear him say the words, I have faith. So all of you out there that are struggling with situations that are out of your control, concentrate on what's in your control. Concentrate on what you can do to make things better for yourself. I know it sounds too easy when I say it, but as all of you have heard my messages, you know that I haven't led a very, very easy life either. Every time I feel like I've gotten myself back on track, I get knocked off the mountain as well. Every time I feel that I am well, I get sick. Every time that I feel like I've gotten better from being sick, I have struggles. It is my faith, it is my will that continues to drive me in the right direction. I hope all of you continue to have that motivation, whether it's with this show, whether it's with family, whether it's with friends, whether it's your job, whatever it's, that it is that is motivating you, allow that to fuel your energy, to fuel your passion, to be someone that you ought to be, to be that individual that you have always wanted to be, that is yourself. God made you in his image. God has prepared you for this battle. Believe it or not, things happen for a reason. And if I said it once, I'll say it again. We cannot predict it. We cannot explain it. But know this, God is in control. And God will not let you fail. It is the evil. It is the negativity. It is the people out there that want to steal your joy. And those are the individuals you have to battle. But you can do it with God's blessing. You can do it with God's shield. You can do it and use your faith. Because when you have faith, when you have God on your side, anything and everything is possible. And that's where I'll leave it today. Have faith, let it begin. Take control of your environment.